Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to create picker view with JSON data. Basically it's a dynamic data and here we have a label and a picker view. If I make a selection, uh, the label changes to the name of the country. So here the API which I'm using is the REST API of countries and a link to the API will be in the description. So make sure to go there and select from there, copy from there. So I will just copy the link so command C and let's get started here I have already created a new Xcode project first I will go to main.storyboard and add a label and I will also add a picker view so picker and it goes here I'll, I'll give this to stuff some country so this will be 50 from top and let's say 10 from left and 10 from right and let's give it a fixed height of 50 and this will be uh, 25 from label 0 10 from left and 10 from right and a fixed height of let's say 150 and add four constraints so now we need to take outlet of label uh, let's just modify label so that we can see so I'll select a label and I will center it and just increase the font size to its visible and I'll just change the label to country so now let's take the outlet. I am pressing control on my keyboard and dragging in my view controller file. And this will be display label and this will be our picker view. So control drag and picker view. So I guess we are done with the storyboard part. So let's hop over to our view controller file and close this and we need more space. We basically don't need this part as well. So let's start coding. Uh, first we will parse our JSON and see if it works or not and Get rid of this and for parsing our JSON we need a struct So we will be using decodable and this will be country and This will be decodable open parentheses and we need to give it the name So basically I need the name of the countries. So here it says name. So I will write name. Okay, don't mess here Otherwise it won't work so yes let and so we are good here we just want the name and i will create a variable which will be countries countries and equal to an array of country and open close parenthesis so under view did load uh, i had already copied my url so here i will say let url equal to url and this one and we will use string so string open parent uh, open uh, ex uh, quotes and paste the link so we have the link here and here we will say url session dot shared dot data task with url and completion handler so here you will just pass in your url and we need the exclamation mark uh, we know that a url is there so let's use it this way but if you're making professional application, I wish you will uh, use uh, explicit, uh, implicit like if let statement to unwrap your optionals. Okay, so let's move further. This will be data uh, response and error. So every time you do this JSON thing, we I I uh, personally forget this part saying dot resume. So from now onwards, I will be doing once I start the data task okay so so that I don't forget uh, this will be if error oh not this one error is equal equal to nil so this means that there is no error and we will say self dot countries equal to JSON decoder dot decode okay we need parentheses JSON decoder or parentheses and decode here the protocol will be uh, like open an array of country so this country is basically a structure and we will say dot self and from data will be data and exclamation mark now we will get an error which says that this uh, function throws uh, throws right so we need to do it under do and catch statement so do open parentheses and here tab it out and we need to add try here as well so i will just say try go at the end and we need catch as well so we will say catch and here I will print it out 
parse error so let's make sure uh, this is working so once after the cat statement just print spit it out uh, countries we want yeah countries dot count and let's run and the reference to the property and I will just say self fix it and run again and this time it should work fine so this is my previous application this is my new application and it's running and we get 250 so there are total 250 countries good to know so let's move further and now we need to implement that picker view so if you know how to implement picker view that's good if you don't know i will link some picker views uh, in the description in that i on the top corner so make sure to learn the basics but if you still don't know i'll perform the whole method uh, hang around so this will uh, first we need two protocols one is ui picker view delegate and another one is ui picker view data source and once we are done with this part we need to assign our picker view delegate and data source so this is our picker view and i will say picker view dot delegate is equal to self and here i will say picker view dot data source is equal to self as well and if you go uh, if you come and click on this ui picker view data source and jump to definitions you will see that these two methods are compulsory uh, this is ui picker view delegate and this all methods are optional so if you need the functionality you implement them but we need these two functionalities so one is number of components and another one is number of rows and components so we need to implement those methods so after view did load i will say picker view methods and here uh, if you remember it's number of components and another one was number of rows and for number of components i will just return one uh, because we need only one component and for number of rows it will be the uh, basically it will be number of countries right so we will just say return countries dot count and uh, we also need so this basically prepares the picker view but we need to display the title so we will say title for row and here we will return return countries open close square brackets and here we will pass in just the row and here we will say count oh name okay and let's run the application and see how it looks so i okay oh, we forgot to do one thing okay it's loaded but what we need to do is after the catch statement we will say uh, dispatch q dot main dot async and just hit enter and here i will say self dot picker view dot reload component and component will be zero so counting starts with zero in computers so it's working but uh, we are still not able to see change the text of our label so let's fix that so first of all we need one delegate method of picker view and which is did select so here i will say let's comment it out so delegate method uh, and uh, one more thing people i have created a twitter handle so you can follow me on twitter uh, and i answer to the questions there uh, much faster than youtube comments so you can do both but twitter is good i like twitter so uh, the function we need is did select so i will say did select and it should have picker view in front make sure you have picker view and hit enter and one more thing uh, if you want this to work you should have assigned this delegate part okay otherwise this method won't work and here i will just say i need my display label okay let's say a list let selected country equal to uh, so this will be basically our countries so we will say row we will just pass in the selected row and we will say name and just assign this to our display label display label dot text equal to selected country and that's it we are done so run the application for one last time and it's working so that's how you use picker view and json all together uh, if you have any questions post them in comments make sure you follow me on twitter and don't forget to like and please subscribe for future videos thank you